Mr. Lamone. Why are you dressed so good? Because I wanted to interview you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I just thought you were saying hello. What's going on? Yes, sir. Sheree Johnson, hey, sir. Strong Voices Television. You look very, very handsome. I am beautiful. honored that you're telling me this right now. Oh, so. I'm, well, I'm honored to be here. Thank you, sir. So what does an event like the GLAAD Awards, what does this mean to you as far as a, uh, LGBTQ visibility and representation? It's important for LGBTQ plus the community to be portrayed in a positive light. That is the one of the goals and the missions of GLAAD, and I am very, very uh, proud to be uh, here representing the LGBTQ community. I do it every day. Uh, not only do I represent the country and heterosexuals and blacks and whites and Hispanics and all kinds of folks, but I also represent the LGBTQ community, um, underserved members of the community and voices that need to be heard, that need to have a platform. What other advocacy do you participate in? Besides GLAAD, what personal uh, advocacy do you have? Well, you know, I, what do you have going on? Well, I'm not, like, I don't, I don't, as a journalist, I can't be part of an advocacy group, but what I do work with, I'm very proud of, is uh, that I am on the board of trustees for my my college, Brooklyn College, and I also am very proud to be a board member for um, Oliver Scholars, which takes uh, young people in underserved communities and puts them in um, independent schools and then sends them to Ivy League colleges. And that's how you change the wealth gap and the, uh, the uh, class gap in this country, is by giving them the opportunities. And once they see that opportunity, they just run with it. So I am very proud to be able to do that. Thank you so much for stopping by on your time, sir.